And I really think that somebody one day, yeah. and probably we've done it on this show with Michael Collins, who's a, a famous economist. Oh yeah. We literally explained yeah. how tariff works. Like, yep. you know, how Greg brings his product here and yep. we have to pay a tariff. So we pay more and we write a check to the government. Right. And then I, since I wrote a check to the government as yeah. a importer, go, yeah. hey, I'm passing that along. And people are like, no, that's not how it works. China writes the check. I'm like, I've been in finance for a hundred years. And yeah, yeah. I, it doesn't work that way. The example so, I was thinking of was like, if Trump had to make extra MAGA hats, I mean, oh my God. they're made in China. Made in America, folks. Not made in China. So, <laughs> once he wants to import a bunch of hats, uh, yeah. then- yeah, then he's going to have to pay those uh, tariffs to the U.S. Yeah. government. Uh, and uh, and maybe that could bring down the old, uh, I don't know. What, what about the basis, like the logic behind the tariffs, which is we want to bring more manufacturing back to the United States. And um, is that, do American people want <laughs> to work in manufacturing jobs anymore? That's something I well, saw. You, you, they won't. For two, well, one, we had this discussion um, yeah. on one of the other shows. So Honda said, you know what? You're right. We're going to bring manufacturing back. Yeah. Okay. They said, and which is true, in 2028, 2029, our plant will be open. Okay. So you're bringing it back, but we- Honda is making, no, they make a lot. I mean, cars or right, motorcycles? Right, but the, the car, they're bringing in, um, the manufacturing from Mexico to here, cars. So, oh, okay. right, cool. so they won't go on delay, on delay, they'll just go beep, beep. So um, I'm just trying to help out. Um, but the problem is, is that it's going to take three to four years to build the factory. Right. So it's great that you're bringing it back. Yeah, yeah. However, nobody thinks past tomorrow. So because there's no long-term planning now, yeah. if I was a car manufacturer, I would have been like, yeah. listen, yeah. there's a good chance, this is when Biden's in the White House, that uh -huh. orange man's going to win. Yeah, you know yeah. how he thinks. Right. Why don't we just preempt it and go, hey, let's start building a plant. And then when yeah. he wins, we go, look, we're building plants because of you. You're wonderful. You're great. Yeah. And that would have, and then this way, you have plants now yeah. by well if he wins a third term then they'll be here when he's here but if not in yeah, yeah, 28 yeah. 29 yeah. the new dictator will be look what i've done yeah. um so that's a bad thing about the um the plants so yeah. i like it but the other part of that is people don't work in plants anymore robots do so it's great that we're bringing manufacturing back yeah i just don't know what i'm going to do with the people Right. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what to do I mean, with them. For the same way, a lot of uh, chip right. manufacturing, like let's yeah, bring that back on onshore or right. uh, re uh, not, uh, offshoring, on, reshoring, I guess they call it. Reshoring, reshoring, right. And that's, yeah. once again, 